Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Bea B. So in today's video, I will be comparing the Tati Beauty Blendiful and an Elf Sponge. So I already dumped this one and this one is dry. So I will be using products usually cream and liquid because I don't usually use sponge for my powders except for the setting powder. Let's see which one will do better. So if you want to know more about this, then just keep on watching. So for the foundation, I'll be using the Wet n Wild uh, Dewy Luminous Foundation. And I'll be doing the first side using the e.l.f. sponge. So this is the with the sponge and this is my bare face. Then I will be applying the same amount on this side and I'll be using this side. So this is the blendiful side and this is the sponge side. This one has more coverage than this one. And I think this one has more glow than this one. When I shift my face like that and this one, it has more glow. I don't know why. So for my concealer, I'll be using the e.l.f. Camo Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Light Beige. Oh, this is the blendiful sponge sorry i blend it with my um sponge oh well i'll just blend everything with my sponge using the concealer i forgot so for the next one i'll be using my milk makeup bronzer matte bronzer in the shade baked so i have an update regarding this one because when I'm editing it, I saw that it somehow faded for a little bit, but at person, it doesn't like faded too much. So I'll be using side for my um, bronzer. This is the Blendiful. So as you can see, uh, this one is uh, see the bronzer while on this side it's not too visible. So uh, in the Blendiful a little goes a long way. So let me just blend this side. But it almost it has the same finish so for the blush i'll be using the milk makeup as well just two dots i'll be using this side another two dots this is the elf side and this is the Blendiful side, so I didn't put uh, another uh, two dots in this side, and it almost has the same amount. Then, for my highlighter, I'll be using the Benefit High Beam. This one is more subtle, the blendiful one, and then this one is more visible in terms of liquid highlighter. I will be setting my face with powder, Coty Air Spine. Then I'm gonna set my face using Too Faced. Then I'm gonna pat it using sponge. This 
is the look that I made using the sponge and the blendiful. Which side is better? Just first. So this one is easy to find, uh, affordable, and, and has a lot of like option. Uh, depends on your preference, like the shape and the how soft you want. A sponge and then this one is a uh, multi-purpose and more flexible because this one you can use on powder on cream and on liquid because this one's dumb it can make your face look cakey when you combine it with powder that's why this one is uh, this one is more flexible and you can fold it like which shape or which side you want but the disadvantage of this one is expensive a little bit of messy as i said on my previous video you need to replace this every three three months i think but i usually replace it three to six months and then even though it this one is five dollars and then this one is eighteen dollars plus the blendiful so you can get like uh, four of this in a year and then this one I don't think has expiration as I always said on my previous video but in terms of ease of use comfort and uh, finish on how you blend it it's almost the same this one just doesn't soak up too much product which a little goes a long way but this one is I think my, I like the highlighter more on this side using the sponge I think it's not too much like too far that you really need this one compared to this one uh, even though this one is more affordable than this one in the long term this one is more affordable but i don't know how long this one will last because i haven't used it but i'll be updating you once in a while but in terms of cleaning this too it's almost the same i think this one is much easier to clean i think because it's i have more grip on this and i can wash it like this and this one I squeeze it that's the only way i wash this one and yeah that's it this one i don't like highly recommend it doesn't like you really need this one it doesn't make too much difference but when you like in the long term you'll realize this one will save you a lot like in terms of product and in terms of you don't have to throw this away it's like using brush and sponge like if you're a brush person that you don't need a sponge then that's how you do your makeup it depends on you that the decision is yours <laughs> don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and thank you so much for supporting me in this week i'll be back on my regular schedule starting next week every tuesday thursday and saturday 6 p.m manila time and 3 a.m pacific time comment down your video suggestions and what can you say about these two products if you have them let me know if you're enjoying it hey guys this is editing Bea, and i noticed that i have a mic issue at my outro so i'll just do my outro like this this is me Bea, signing off reminding you to be a believer of your own beauty and be a blessing to everybody see you in the next video Bye, just in case you miss it. Mm -hmm.